I've been inspired today. I've been inspired to speak to you in a whole new, different way. And for starters, I'd like to thank you for everything that you do. For your love and the love that you spread through other people. I faced so many disappointments before, but at the same time, I think I found something truly beautiful. So that's why I come to you, to ask you, what is this kind of love? How do I mean it? How do I say it? we're gonna have out there. <laughs> so, um, are we gonna be out here for a while? Yeah, you know, uh, just enough time to talk. Look, Kyle, you seem really sweet, and this picnic is great, but, uh... Okay, uh, listen, look, uh, I know I'm a sensitive dude, but, that's, uh... That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, instead of being out here in the heat with the bugs, I mean, maybe we could go back to your place. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, it's fine. Kyle, I like you. Yeah, I like you, too. No. I really like you. Do you want to go back to your place now? I'm scared all the time. And you know this about me. And I try and act like I'm something, but to the core, I'm not.
something more. In you, I can have courage. In you, I can know love. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, hello? Um, hi? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. Not creeping or anything, just normal guy walking through the woods, not a creeper. Isn't that what creepers say? <laughs> um, but for real, I'm just a Mr. Nice Guy uh, walking through the woods with my stick here. Um... <clears throat> What you reading? Four Loves by C.S. Lewis. Oh, uh, you mind if I take a look? Sure. Can I take a couple of steps towards you? <laughs> Four Loves, what a, what a great book. Do you like it? Well, obviously you like it because you're still reading it. This is actually my second time reading that one. Oh. Friendship is one one man says to another, <gasps> you too? I thought no one but myself. It's from the book. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> you know, I just think it's so great that you're out here reading and you don't have your face stuck in your phone or on Facebook or anything like that. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, Mr. Nice Guy is actually my superhero disguise. The name's Kyle. I'm Amelia. Just regular girl, no superpowers or anything. <laughs> Can I have my book back? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, here you go. Thanks. Oh, see you later. Got my snake. <laughs> and I don't know, I just left her there. Are you some kind of an idiot? Probably. Why didn't you just ask her like a normal person? Oh man, she was just sitting there, you know? There are four loves book and a Bible. Beautiful. And I thought to myself, this girl is special. This girl could be an adventure. So I gave her a note. I'm never gonna see her again, am I? Love you, granddad. I thought this reservation was for two. No, it's just me today. Well, all right then. Uh, welcome aboard.
one more thing. One more request from the gentleman who set this up. Choices are her certainty, like death and taxes. Even if you don't make the choice, you've chosen to be immobile, which is really still making a choice anyway. I never thought my predicament would be a choice. I always thought once I got the call, I would go. After all, the true beauty in life isn't pursuing my own dreams and adventures. You say it's loving you, and loving other people. I dreamt that I'm in a castle and you Maybe I'm ready to be vulnerable. There cause you're down in the dungeon, but you could come up, come up and see me. Oh, you oh. Stay hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, no, no. Uh, I, I startle you, you startle me, right? <laughs> I, I got your note. Indeed you did. Um, go ahead, take a seat. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, why the note? Oh, the note. Well, you see, uh, you're very beautiful. No, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, why didn't you just ask me? Oh, the guy's got to impress, right? I have to take a pen and form letters on a little piece of paper. Uh, that takes some thought. And plus, you're gorgeous. Yes, so you, you said that. You're beautiful, and you're out here reading the Four Loves book and the Bible. You're a Christian? Started following Jesus five years ago. That's really neat. Uh, how about you? Yeah, since, since I was five. By the way, uh, you wrote BYOB on your note. Uh, yeah. Bring your own book. <laughs> Love anything in your heart will be wrung and possibly broken. If you want to make sure of keeping it intact, you must give it to no one. Lock it up safe in the casket. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable, impenetrable, irredeemable. To love is to be vulnerable. You see, uh, C.S. Lewis asks what love looks like in this book, but I think in order to find it, you can't just read it in here or in here. You have to go live the words out. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. That's right. You can't fear to live, you can't fear surrender, or else how will you ever know love? How will you ever know adventure? So I noticed a common theme amongst your books. Oh uh, yeah? Fantastic journeys and adventures. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's who I am. That's what I live for, is to live a life filled with adventure. Well? Well, what? Are you doing it? Well, well I'm, uh, I'm here with you now, aren't I? Is that what you consider adventure? Giving notes to random girls in fields? What about you? Uh, you, you want something like that? I don't know, I mean, I guess I want to get out, but just like, not too far. Too far? What do you mean? Have you ever stopped to think that maybe people are missing out on you? Like, take right now, for instance. There's a guy in a field that gave you a note, and you took a step to be here. And if you hadn't, I would have missed out on you. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, Indiana Jones has <laughs> definitely got to be on your bucket list of things to see. Something wrong? I just, I should probably get going. This has been wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Guess I'll be going. <laughs> yeah. 
see you around? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it's, it's been really, really, really great getting to know you. Thanks. Yeah. House on a Haunted Hill is like <laughs> the best movie ever. Oh my gosh, no, no, I cannot stand horror films. What? You don't like horror movies? You do? Yeah, I mean, come on, who doesn't like to watch a good old fashioned horror movie every oh. now and then? Okay, good Christian boy. Good Christian man. Good Christian man. <laughs> uh, do you think I can use your restroom? Oh, um, why? Because my body is asking me to? Yeah, sorry, no, that was weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> sorry, I just didn't think it'd be a problem. No, um, it's you know. not, definitely not. It's totally fine. Um, it's just my brother's in there, and I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll like you. I'm kind of, I'm 40%. 40%? 40%. Sure, yeah. We're awfully confident, aren't we? I mean, <laughs> he's just a little overprotective. <clears throat> um, it'll, yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. Maybe I can hold it. Hey, look who it is, my baby sister. Hey, girlfriend. How are you? And who is this stud muffin? Yeah, yeah, who is she with? Who are you with? 
Um, uh, Ky Kyle, my name's Kyle. <laughs> what do you like together or something? He's so cute. Eric, her first boyfriend. No, this is a he's big not deal. My Kyle, why don't you take a seat, huh? Go ahead, take a load off. Let's have some drinks to celebrate, huh? Bye. Uh, no, I I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> my Amelia been treating you good, Kyle? Kyle, we ought to get hammered sometime now that you're dating my sister. Uh, yeah, you two are our brother and sister. Ain't she the whitest Mexican you ever seen? <laughs> you're always so funny, baby. <laughs> um, you guys have a restroom that maybe I can use around here? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. I am beyond embarrassed. How come you didn't tell me you were gonna bring the guy over, huh? It's fine, baby. He's a sweetie. What do I tell you about bringing boys over here, huh? Sorry. What's wrong with you? I just thought you'd want to meet him. Meet him? For what? I thought you'd be alone. What is your problem? Are you kidding me right now? Kyle, you, you sure you want nothing to drink, buddy, huh? Come on, man, I got some shots on the table. Have a shot with me. No, man, I'm, I'm good, man, for real. <laughs> uh, I, I never got your name. Actually, we need to get going. Uh, we just stopped by for a second. <sighs> oh, yeah, I guess uh, we do need to be leaving now. So. Do you really want to go home, Kyle? We really need to head out. You never did like me, did you, Amelia? Renee. I try so hard to be nice to you. You are just like your mother. Why can't you two just get along? You always act so hurt, Amelia. Don't know, Daddy. Mommy slept with everyone in town. At least you have your brother. When my parents died, I didn't have anyone. Renee. I didn't have Renee. any... What? Come have a drink, babe. Come here. Come here. Come here. Welcome to the circus, Kyle. Talk to you soon, Kyle. Some stargazing. I like that. It's been nice. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so embarrassed. That girl, she's uh, quite the character, huh? I didn't know she was gonna be there. Renee, it's my brother's on and off girlfriend. All they do is fight and have sex and fight and have sex and he's just a different person when he's with her. Your brother, if you don't mind me asking, what is you guys' story anyway? He's my stepbrother, but you never really know that with Eric. My mom was married many times. Um, none of those were my father. But the one that lasted the longest was Eric's dad. Ever since we were little, Eric was the one that took care of me. He, he protected me. Which is what makes it so difficult when he's acting like this. What do you mean? Eric, he's been into drugs and I think he's doing it again. Have you ever thought that maybe some distance might be good? Like getting your own apartment or something. Yeah, but I couldn't afford it. And as much pain as Eric causes me, he's always been there for me. And I need to be there for him. Well, you know, you don't have to be afraid. You can stand up for yourself. I'm not as brave as you, Mr. Adventurer. Yeah, but you could be. I mean, you can get out and live your life. It's meant to be an adventure. 
if it's that easy, then why haven't you done it yet? My parents own a little bookstore out in Florida. I would go there after school every day and I'd read and pretend I was going on these adventures and these exotic places and I was happy. It's only when you get older that you realize that the little bookstore can solve actually very few things, including crushing debt that my parents weren't too anxious to get out of. So I worked um, to help them out and my granddad started getting older and he needed help too, so I moved out here to Texas. Kyle Johnston, I believe God is gonna do great things in your life. Just you wait and see. such a cute baby. Yes, I can only hope that my good looks and charm have carried into adulthood. It most definitely did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> well, enough ammunition on me for today, but I don't feel like I have as much blackmail on you. I just don't have as much stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm sure if we kept looking around here, we could find something. No, 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 no. Yeah, what no, is this right no. here, huh? Why are you going straight for Was that? Was this a diary? No, huh? give it back. Oh, give it back. I, can you reach it? Oh, if you can reach it, I'll give it back to you, huh? Okay, hold on. Why would you leave this out, huh? No, what? Oh, make you sit. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, you just can't be leaving this stuff around here if you don't want me reading it. You know what? Fine. Fine. Yeah, go ahead. Read it. Read? Read? You want me to read it? It's from a while ago anyway. Alright. I am going to read it. Read it. Just do I it. am making history here, people. Just Reading read it. a girl's diary. Let's <clears throat> see. I know that you love me more than I could ever imagine. Uh, this is intense. Uh, you sure you want me to keep reading? Okay. Um, and I thank you. I thank you for everything that you do for me. Who is this too? I know he is hurting and he desperately needs you. Please, please save my brother. Are you talking to God in this? Sometimes I don't just say my prayers, I like to write them down. Do you think that's weird? No, no. I, uh, I think it's beautiful. Really? Yeah, I really do, it's, it's awesome. As a matter of fact, I think you might even have to coin a term for it. That's so. Yeah, something like pinned prayers or, no, little notes to heaven. I like pinned prayers better. But alas, this is between you and the good Lord. Probably not for my eyes to see. Something wrong? No, no. Just got something that I want to say to you, but I don't know if I should say it yet. Don't say it to me. Hello? Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm sorry that I catch you guys at a bad time. Amelia didn't tell me you were gonna come over here, Kyle. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, man. It's it's all good. So, uh, uh how are you doing? Dandy. So what are you guys doing? We were just looking at pictures and my journals. <sighs> Trip down memory lane. Look at me all suited up. <laughs> I used to knock people out back then, you know? Yeah. You're not gonna find very many pictures of me and Amelia. Is there something you wanted, Eric? <laughs> you know what? This is perfect. I've been meaning to ask Kyle for some time now to hang out. What do you say, Kyle? No, uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, that. that's fine. Yeah. Okay, well, what about next Saturday then? Um, yes, uh, Saturday is, is uh, actually, I'm, I'm working Saturday, so. Working? I mean, you're just a waiter, right? <laughs> what, do you work all day? Come on, man, what's your shift? It's 10 to 5, so. Okay, what about 5.30? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll let you get back to it, to your photos. I'll see you next week, Kyle. See you then. to do this. Well, I'm up for the challenge. I know you are, but it makes me nervous. Well, it's not exactly the most comfortable thing for me either, but it's about being brave 
It's about doing the uncomfortable things for the things that are worth it. <laughs> Quite the speech there. Coach tells me, he goes, son, I'll give you a dollar if you put this guy on his butt. And I depleted the guy. <laughs> Completely took him out. I got back up and I said, coach, if we keep this up, we'll be able to pay for school in no time. <laughs> Some people just need to be babysat. Well, I guess dinner is canceled. <laughs> I just gotta make a quick pit stop. Lord is good to us today, my friends. He is good. And the Lord gave us a beautiful day today, Gator. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I don't want to play any more games, okay? You know why I'm here. Eric, man, I told shut you. Shut up! What are you telling our friends to shut up for? Crap. You in the dark yet, Eric? I know you've been holding on to something. I've seen your sister walking around here every now and then, wandering around all by herself. You let that happen? Awful pretty girl, ain't she, Gator? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't see much family resemblance, though. Thought I might take her out to dinner sometime. I'll show her a real good time. I wouldn't be stepping on your turf now, would I? <laughs> Hey, look, you don't be talking about my family like that. What are you going to do about it? I see you brought a bat to a gunfight. No, I didn't. Hey, guys. Hey. Sorry, uh, that seat was making my butt hurt. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> oh, today's your lucky day, Anthony. I like your shirt. Next time I see you, things are gonna be different around here. Next time I see you, you won't be seeing me. Man, get in the car, man. Come on, hurry up. Tell your sister I said hi. Man, what was that? Just an argument amongst friends. Doesn't sound like just an argument to me. <laughs> Make sure Amelia knows nothing about this. Amelia told me about your drug problem in the past, Eric. You think this would be fair to her? That's why she shouldn't know anything. Imagine if she find out, it will break her heart. You wouldn't want that, would you? You're a good man, Kyle. Smooth operator. Hey, Amelia. I heard you two had an amazing time. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. He says you're such a good guy, and I have every ounce of his blessing to date you. 
Uh, blessing, huh? <laughs> yes, it just makes me so happy that you two are getting along. Yeah, um, look, Amelia... What, is something wrong? No, no, it's, uh, it's nothing. Um, look, I think I just need to get some shed eye, okay? Uh, do you mind if I talk to you tomorrow? Okay, I'll talk to you then. Thank you. Good night, Amelia. Good night. What? Granddad? Granddad. Mm, what's that? Hey, uh, what is this? It says... After review of your nomination by James Johnston, we would like to congratulate you on your acceptance into our France Missionary Journey program. Oh, surprise! Surprise? Surprise? What does it mean? Well, you're going to France for a year. How is this even possible? I can't leave you, don't you get that? Your uh, mom and dad have been planning to take me in for the year you're gone. You've been working hard for a long time. You deserve this. Aren't you excited? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm excited. This <laughs> this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you, Granddad. Oh, we love you, kid. You're going to have a great time. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I'm trying to forget I'm making to be free of the words Stabbed right through my chest And all I need is to find my rest I'm trying to forget just leaving. Yeah? I mean, I was looking for something, but it doesn't matter. It's probably gone by now. Oh. Um, well, I'm a secretary here. Do you go to this church? I feel like I've seen you around. No, I'm actually the secretary of my own church, but my... someone I know goes here. What are you looking for? It's gonna sound stupid. Try me. It's a note. Oh. I told you it was stupid. He came by a couple months ago. And he said he was creating a little treasure hunt for his girlfriend. <laughs> um, I think it was first John. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should you probably want to do it. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you. Um yeah, he
Thank you. Thank you so much. It's only his whole master plan. It took you a little while. <laughs> Can I say, I guess I'm just a hopeless romantic. Do you know where to go? Yeah, I know exactly what's next. What, are you not excited to see me? Funny guy. <laughs> Why so early and unannounced? If you could go anywhere right now, where would you want to go? What? If you could get in a car and just drive anywhere, where would it be? I don't understand. Oh, come on. Isn't there a place that you've never been before that you'd want to go to? I guess the ocean. What? You've never been to the ocean before? No. Oh, no. That is unacceptable. All right. That's it. We're going. We're going to the ocean right what? now. Come what? on. Yep, this train is leaving. Let's go. Wait, are you serious? I'm being more serious than I've been about anything my whole life. Isn't there usually a note involved? Okay, we're not doing that today, all right? We're being spontaneous. All right, come on, let's go. No, this let's is crazy. Get... Eric's let... going to flip out. I don't want to hear about Eric. All I want to do is go to the beach with my girlfriend. That's all I want to Wait, do. Wait, what just... did you just say? What? What did you just say? What? I don't know. You just called me your girlfriend. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Fine. So what if I did, huh? I mean, what are we? We're boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, then I... Can't. What? I guess I should go to the beach with my boyfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? As a good girlfriend, you should. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go get changed. All right. Okay. Well, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna go to the beach, maybe ride on the ferry, and maybe we can even get on one of those uh, those gondola things. You know, uh, the boats that they have in Italy? You ever been on one of those? But seriously, thank you for doing this with me. I'm sorry. I just feel like any second Eric's gonna be calling me and telling me to get home. Hey, we're going to the ocean. This is supposed to be our time, remember? Don't worry about Eric. You want to know what the cure-all to most of my problems is? What's that, oh wise Kyle? Music. Nothing like cranking up a good old song and singing to it as loud as possible. Trust me, one of these days, you're going to be in a situation, and you're going to remember this moment, and you're going to thank me. I want to be the one you need forever and ever.
So is it everything you imagined? Yeah, it's beautiful. Nothing like the sound of waves hitting the seashore. We should probably be getting back soon. Why? It's getting late and I need to get home. We could take a nice moonlight walk on the beach. That'd make for a romantic evening, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it would be our last romantic evening because my brother is going to kill us when we get back. All right, well, why don't we just go ahead and go then? What's your deal? What is your problem, huh? Well, it's my brother. I mean, he's got to be wondering where I am. Has and he I... called you? Well, no, but... Has he tried to reach you? Look, there's got to be something to do about this this control thing, okay? That your brother has what over you. What are you talking you. about? He's your brother, you know? I, I get that, okay? But you don't have to let him control every single... You don't of... understand. I do understand. I get that y'all been through a lot together, no, okay? No, he's the only family that yes, I have. I understand. You've ingrained that into my brain. He's your only family. There's that doesn't no give way an you excuse. could get that. We grew yeah. up together. We took care of each other. Ever I get that you guys kids. have had problems. No, I get that he's taking care of you. you don't get it. You don't know where our problems are. Your biggest problem is that you want to travel and you can't. I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean that. Oh, well, it's okay. Probably true. No. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh... I think I'm going on a mission trip to France for a year. What? Yeah, um... My granddad set this thing up with the church, and, uh... You know, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go, so. Well, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, my granddad, he set this whole thing up with my parents to where they would save up some money for it, and, uh, he'd be able to stay with them for a year, so. That's great. I, I, I don't know, though. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The timing just doesn't seem right. If you're, if you're worried about us, it's, it's okay. Couples do this all the time, and we can make it work. It's just a year, and... This is... This is something that you need to do for yourself, and... It's your dream. It's your big adventure. All right. Uh, I should probably be taking you home. Oh no! It's Eric. Hey, you're coming to eat with us now. Eat? Aren't you mad? We are getting married! <laughs> oh, I couldn't keep a straight face anymore. <laughs> Come on, man, get in the car. We're gonna go eat. My heart is in a sad song. Keep the champagne coming. <laughs> so, we've decided to date. We were thinking maybe sometime in February. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, Kyle can be one of the ushers to the wedding or something. <laughs> um, one of the cake cutters. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing, buddy. You can be one of the groomsmen. Unless, of course, you guys are broken up by then. <clears throat> Sounds like y'all have it all figured out after just one day. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations again, you two. Uh, really happy for you. I know. You, we are so blessed and excited. <laughs> I 
What's wrong, Amelia? Nothing. Oh, are you worried about family coming? Well, don't worry. It's going to be small. We're not even gonna invite your parents. And then mine won't be coming, of course, because if they've been dead. <laughs> Renee. What's wrong? Renee. What's wrong? Amelia, what's wrong? I mean, Maybe we should get some more champagne. It's just kind of sudden. Sudden? Your brother and I have been dating for three years. Yeah, and y'all have been broken up for three-fourths of it. You little brat! Hey, now. What oh. is with it with you two? We are getting married. Any kind of happiness that can be had, you two always suck it away. See, this, see, this, this is supposed to be a happy occasion. Bubbly, okay? We got people looking at us. She always brings in this negativity, and I don't know why you always side with her. You two can never get along. Uh -huh. How do you expect to meet a sister? Cannot believe out to public. No, Eric, she's not happy anymore. See that, Eric. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. What is he doing? Well, good evening, everybody. Um, I would like to dedicate a little song tonight to this couple right here who just announced their engagement today. <laughs> All right, can I get a clap, right? <laughs> and uh, also to the beautiful woman sitting right next to them who I just became boyfriend, girlfriend official with today. Oh. Boyfriend, girlfriend, official. My heart is in a sad song. Nothing's going right. Minor is my major key tonight. These words are hard to form, and my soul is bleeding through. Let the melody <laughs> carry me. To you. <laughs> what a beautiful view. What a beautiful view. Honey, looking at you. Favor. Yeah, what's that? It has to do with Kyle. Yeah, well, you want me to rough him up a little bit for you? Eric! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm being serious. Man, you really like this guy, don't you? Seems like a doofus to me. Yeah, he's kind of a doofus. But he got a good singing voice, I'll give him that. Not as good as me, but it's whatever. Oh yeah, totally, because you sounded like a perfect angel. I there. did, and I didn't even have any training. <laughs> Here. What? Here, put these on. What is this? It's been a long time since you punched Arnie in the face. No, Eric, I'm gonna break my wrist. Come on, it's been a while. It'll be fun. <laughs> Arnie's missed you. Really, is that all you got? Oh, come on, I know you got more than that. <laughs> no. Weak. Man, you weak, bro. Weak. <laughs> Man, you can't hit. I can't. Mr. Audi would like to congratulate you on how you hit like a little girl. Ow. I'm sorry. 
Man, that's gonna bruise. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like Arnie needs a new nose, huh? <laughs> I miss laughing with you, Eric. Yeah, I miss laughing with you, too. <laughs> Even as a baby, you used to have this cute little laugh. You used to brighten up the whole room. Here. What? Take it. We're going to take a selfie. <sighs> okay. <Go>. Stop. Stop. <laughs> See? We need more pictures together. That way when I go through photo albums with boys I like, they'll know who my family is. Is that right? Yeah. All right. I'll do your favor for you. But I'm going to need something from you in return. I'm going to need you and Renee to start getting along. She's going to be part of this family now. And I know she's a little whacked, but I love her. Okay. Okay? I know it's a lot to ask for you as a favor. Yeah. But you're really not gonna like mine. Your laughing eyes and your tears when you cry. The way you're ever so You hold my hand and say, Babe, I've got a plan. Everything's gonna be alright with me. Romance, pure battle, adventure, rendezvous are English. Somebody us up here. I should probably study. I stink, yeah, it's all our days and our nights. I wouldn't miss a beat. Your dark brown hair. Bonjour, monsieur. Eric? Welcome to La Ruoli Fantastic Restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Who are you and what have you done with Eric? I'm just saying the lines Amelia gave me, you idiot. Now, I like you, Kyle, but I don't like you that much. Right this way, Musur. Oh, wow. Wish I may Bonjour, Monsieur Kyle. Uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Shall we make our way to the table? Yes, we shall. Portier? Yes, madame. You, uh, you did all this? You act so surprised. Well, this all looks amazing, and you, you look absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Thank you. Portier? Nous apportons un peu de fromage. Oh, uh, cheese? Yes. <laughs> I think the best part was getting him to wear a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly have outdone yourself this time, Miss Amelia. I figured it would be a good theme with your upcoming trip. By the way, have you started packing yet? Because I have this book you might like. It's you know what? I don't want to talk about that right now. All I want to do is spend some time with my stunning girlfriend. May I have this dance? be the perfect time for? What's that? For you to tell me why you gave me that very first note. Well, isn't it obvious? I gave it to you so I could be here 
right now in this moment with you. Just don't catch me falling down in this wonderful spiral I never knew. You're the star that I wish on my dream that is coming true. Hey. I, uh, got something I want to tell you, but I don't know if I should tell you yet. Don't say it till you mean it. Hey, Amelia, you know how to make smoothies? No. You want to learn how? I'll teach you. Sure. Before my mom passed, she taught me how to make the best smoothies in the world. That sounds nice. <laughs> Maybe you and I could get Eric off his lazy butt and teach him how to cook. Make him a modern man. <laughs> Would you mind pouring me a cup of milk? Not at all. Oh, what's this? It's so cute. Oh, that was my grandma's. I haven't seen that in a long time. What's that? There, my two lovely ladies. You guys got dinner ready? What's wrong? You want us to trust you? What have you got to say, huh? It's not like it was before. Not like it was before? What does that mean? It means what it means. I'm not doing drugs. Oh, really? You're not? Then what is this, Eric, huh? What is it, powdered sugar? You don't understand. I'm doing what I gotta do to provide for this family. I'm the one that's keeping us together. By doing drugs? No! Then what, Eric? How do you think we're able to afford to live like this? Huh? Your paychecks? Amelia's paychecks? No! And his dang sure ain't the work at the shop? What do you mean it's not the shop? What does that mean? It means you two are fine with me taking care of you. That's all I've done. That's all I ever will do is take care of you. Why are you trying to fight me? Stop! All I want is for us to be a family. Let us be a family! I thought Amelia and I were just gonna play house while you're out doing drugs! I gave up my dreams! <gasps> now I want to take care of you and my sister! She is not your sister! <sighs> and this isn't a family. It's your prison. You know what? I got other things to do. <laughs> All I wanted to do was to say hi for a second. <laughs> Can you please put the Coke back in the cabinet when I'm gone? <laughs> Please.
God. Hey. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> we have a date, don't we? Kyle, they're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I was hoping you'd like them. <laughs> Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just some stuff. Oh, uh, what kind of stuff? Uh, I'd rather talk about it later, maybe. I need to get changed, don't I? Do you mind just waiting right here for a second? Uh, spot? actually, um, I, uh, actually have something else for you, so. You do? Yeah, um, no, when I wrote this one, I, uh, you know, just, here you go. <laughs> I wonder what this could be. Oh. Wow. Uh, I, uh... No, um, it's, it's okay. I, I, um... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go, so. What's wrong with you tonight, man? You seem tense. Tense, sir. Man, what's wrong with me is none of your business, all right? Let's just get this deal over with with these low lives and call it a night. You the boss, man. You're late. Then again, you're about five months late, so this ain't no surprise to me. You starting already. You came here to make peace, brother. Peace. If you wanted to make peace, you should have done that months ago. We all have very specific roles here. And your role is to give me my money. To make sure I have my money on time. What do you need so bad for? Your family? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, man. Uh, what? The money. It ain't gonna add up. Look at it again. No, he's counting right. We took our fair share this time. Wow, oh, so you're gonna shoot me? Well, you better aim for my head. Man, not this guy again. See so you brought your boyfriend again. You can tell us who he really is. He's nobody. He's just someone dating my sister. Oh, your sister's taken by him? <laughs> Carl, what are you doing here? You gotta get out of here. What is this? You selling, Eric? How could you do this to Amelia and Renee? Look, now is not the time or the place for this. Walk away. No. Why don't you give Amelia my number and get her dating a real man? <laughs> <laughs> Look, just ignore what you saw here. I got everything under control. Under control? You are damaged, man, and you've damaged your sister. 
Do you realize how much you've messed her up? You think you know more about my sister than me? Do you have any idea what it's like to raise a family by yourself? Eric. No, you don't. You think doing this makes you more of a man? You're not a man, you're a little boy. There ain't no little boy gonna be dating my sister. Walk away. Walk away, Kyle. Walk away! <laughs> you dick! I'm out of here, man. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. This ain't on me. This is on you. This is on you, Eric. <laughs> Looking died not Eric, are you? Come on, Gator. Kyle. <coughs> Kyle. I'm gonna call an ambulance. Stay with me. Sorry. Help! They're gonna know I was here. Please help. They're gonna know it was me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll call in the tip, okay? Just hang in there. I'll call in the tip. Help! I'm sorry, man. They can't know it was me. Please.
So no work again today? Still the silent treatment, huh? I managed to get off with the police, and this is the welcome I get? I told you it wasn't my fault. What would you have me do? Confess to something that's not my fault? Is that what you think Kyle would want? Hey, what are you doing here? You know Eric doesn't live here anymore. Yeah, I know. I came to see you. I'm moving back with my mom. Amelia, I came over here because I should have made this trip weeks ago. But I think we all needed time. I can move in with you. You can stay here, keep your job. And we can help each other. I've been just so horrible to you these past couple of years. And it's no excuse, but I've lost people too. Just take your time. Renee. I never loved Kyle. I never told him. Just because you never told him doesn't mean you never loved him. Thank you. My son's coming from Florida to pick me up next week. I hope you'll try to come by and say hi. 
you didn't have much chance to talk to him during the day of the funeral. Um, no, I don't think I could. Why not? Because this is all my fault. What do you mean? Kyle, if he hadn't met me, if I had just... Do you think it would be different? My grandson loved to help people. I truly believe that God lets everything happen that's supposed to be. His parents and I, we feel that he was just trying to help. But don't take that responsibility on yourself. James, you're a Christian. I've heard people ask these questions, and I thought I always knew the answer to them. But now, why? Why would God do this? Why, Kyle? I don't know. I do know that Kyle was strong in his faith, that he loved and trusted Jesus, and I think he's in his arms right now. And I'll be with him real soon. I'll stop by a couple times before his parents get here to pick you up.
I've been inspired today. I've been inspired to speak to you in a whole new, different way. And for starters, I'd like to thank you for everything that you do, for your love and the love that you spread through other people. And I'd also like to thank you for the person who inspired me, who I, I think I'm developing feelings for. I'm scared. I'm scared all the time. And you know this about me. And I try and act like I'm something, but to the core, I'm not. I never thought my predicament would be a choice. I always thought once I got the call, I would go. Maybe I'm ready to be vulnerable. I've made my choice. I made my choice a while back. I want to stay here with Amelia. I think that's what you want too. I want to go on crazy adventures, but I want to go on them with Amelia. I want her to know that I treasure her, that she is my adventure. scared. I'm still scared. And now you're gone. Just gone. You want to know why I gave you that very first note? It's because I was scared to actually talk to you. <laughs> I knew it. You were so beautiful. I was afraid that I would literally not be able to form words. <laughs> You're in a fog right now. A bad one. It's the nastiness of this life that threatens us all at one point or another. But if you would just reach up, reach through the fog, you'll find that God is there and he's been holding his hand out to you the entire time. He's not gonna miss out on you. I love you. I love you too. But now I'll never get to tell you. Well, I can think of one way you can still tell me. <laughs> <laughs>